Hello guys, welcome back to this video and in this video we will discuss about the smart rounding functionality that is available within the trade agreements in Dynamics 365. In the previous video we did cover about a topic within trade agreement called generic currency. So this has a link to the generic currency as well. So let's explore what is a smart rounding functionality. So from the business process point of view, especially while you're working with a wholesaler or a retail customer, especially in the electronics business, uh, whenever they purchase this electronic goods, the pricing of this particular goods maybe in some cases are like $15.34 or $100.15, etc. Right? So what we normally do to make it look more appealing even psychologically to a customer and also there is some profit component involved to it is when we round the values which are in $100.15 to the closest you know 95 cent or 99 cent or even a closest to whole number. So we usually make it look something like this one you know the pricing while well, the pricing is um, uh, $5.30 is 40 $4.99. We do see a lot of uh, retail outlets where the pricing of very many goods are either ending with 99 cents or 95 cents or always a whole number, right? So the trade agreement do offer a certain level of automation to automatically apply this kind of uh, rounding to the nearest whole number or 99 cents or 95 cents. So we are going to explore how do we do that using uh, a sales order and using a trade agreement. Okay, so let us now try to um, firstly uh, understand the setup behind this functionality. So for that, let's get into the sales and marketing module. And uh, in the sales and marketing module under the trade agreements, I mean, there is a section called price and discount. So here you have something called as a smart rounding functionality. If um, it's a new legal entity just as me, then you will not find anything here. Uh, then uh, you can uh, of course uh, uh, click on this button that will automatically populate some demo data for us to get started with where you can use it to start and play around and you of course can go ahead and create your own rounding rules based on your customer's business process later once you start to understand once you have a good understanding and, um, so right now um, let's explore this rule uh, 99 cent meaning everything is rounded to 99 cent so the first two column is ref represents the price range when the price is between zero dollar to one dollar 99 cent if the price is between this range then always round it off to the closest to 99 cent is the syntax right hash dot 99 cent is the syntax and to this syntax there is also a kind of another rule which is upper limit right because of this upper limit here in the last column, this particular rule will not work for any number between 0 to 1.99. This will only work for a numbers which are greater than uh, 0.7 cent. Okay. So, which means that. Um, so, let me edit it. So. Uh, this is a 99 cent rule right so if i have a one dollar then it's going to be one dollar there is a, again a simulation section available guys so the, here you can actually simulate and see how the rules are working so the one is between zero to 199 right but still the 99 rule doesn't appear because at the cent section here the digit section it needs to be greater than seven okay so which means if i am going to put something like one dollar seventy cent then it's going to make it as $1.99. So if it is $1.80, then it is going to make it as $1.99 as well because it's going to round, round off to the nearest 99. If it is a $1.60, then it's not going to be rounded off. That's the rule because there is a upper limit here. Likewise, if it is $0.70, uh, then it's going to be rounded off to the nearest 99 cent. So that's one, that one is only for the unit price being 0 to 2, 0 to 1.99 provided the decimal limit is greater than 70. Okay, so that is what is here. And likewise here, 
it is now this rule is applicable for uh, all the items with the pricing which starts from $1.99 to $29.99 so again it behaves in the same way as that of the previous one so it's not that interesting because they are all same so let's explore this third one so when the pricing is between $29.99 to $149.99 then it's going to not only change the decimal limit but it's also going to change the actual price to end with 9 okay so the meaning is and also make sure that the the upper limit needs to be greater than 5 if upper limit is sorry greater than 4 or 4 then it's going to be rounded off to the nearest 9.99 if it is lesser than 4 then it will be downgraded to the nearest whole number nearest 9.99 number if it is greater than 4 or equal to 4 then it is going to upgrade it and round it off to the nearest 9.99 number so what is what do i mean by 9.99 number let's explore it so let me put some price which is greater than 29 so which means i need to make it as uh, maybe 30 uh let's make it as 36 which is greater than 4 ending with greater than 4 right 6 is ending with greater than 4 so let's make it 36 so if i make it 36 then it's going to become 9.99 needs to be the ending number right here so the 36 is translated into 39.99 okay and likewise if this is going to be lesser than 4 maybe 32 then it's going to downgrade it to the nearest 9.99 whole number in this case it's going to become 29 so which means that if uh, my pricing is greater than 5 it's going to instead of 35 it's going to make it as 39 there's a small profit that's also attached to it right if it is lesser then it's going to downgrade it so which means that we are going to reduce the price a little bit right so that is how the things work so likewise um, in this case right uh, or uh, yeah in or, or in this case if the number is larger very big price value meaning more than 10000 then uh, round it off to the nearest uh, 99 if the ending is above 50 ending is below 50 then round it off to 99 which is uh, at the lower side right so which means that if my price is uh, uh, maybe 60 10,060 is rounded off to 10,099 likewise if it is 10,040 any guesses it will be rounded off to 9999 because the lowest 999 okay and and uh, this is not only used for that but it is also used for I mean this particular rule right it's also used to make it to a nearest whole number example let me make it as this one let's uh, let me clear all this first this one let's make it as zero zero okay if I make it a zero zero then if it's going to be Ten thousand fifty, then it's going to make it as ten thousand hundred, and likewise, if it is going to be ten thousand twenty, it's going to make it as ten thousand. It's going to downgrade it a little bit, right? So this is when you use a zero zero in your expression. Then, if your business process is whenever there is uh, something like uh, you know uh, ten thousand seventy uh, ten do, uh, ten cent, right? It's going to just uh, make it as uh, 10,100 and remove that uh, uh, weird uh, uh, sense you know it's bigger priced item I don't want to necessarily um, look for all those cents so in this scenario even if it is going to be 17 cent it's still going to be 10,100 so when you wanted to make it as a full whole number then you make it a zero zero here that's very very useful functionality so this is just a simulation here right so when i'm happy with all this my simulation and here i would like to for higher valued item i would like to round it off to the nearest whole number 
So I'm good with this rule. So I'm going to save it. And likewise, it's a 95 cent rule. Anyway, I'm going to use only 99 cent rule. And make sure it's applicable for which currency. My base currency is INR. So I'm going to use it. And if I'm actually using a generic currency, which I have discussed in the earlier video, if you are uh, if you did not watch the video, do watch it. Generic currency is a concept where uh, the, the exchange rate policies will not out of the box work within your trade agreements. For example, you have a trade agreement set up for INR and you're creating a sales order for a USD. The system will not automatically populate the USD price by following the exchange rate and converting INR to USD because the trade agreement is only in INR. No, it doesn't work that way. You will have to first define a generic currency which is for I, uh, INR and then have an exchange rate between INR and USD predefined in the uh, setup area okay uh, which is i've already discussed about those setup areas in the previous video only when you have that in uh, in this in your parameters only then the changes in the currency work we discussed about in the previous video do watch it if you uh, missed to watch my previous video anyway since i have the generic currency setup i'll also use my another currency called canadian dollars so that i want it to work the i want the rounding rule to also applicable for my other currency so if that needs to be there then you will have to add your currency here. So once you do all that, then the next setup is, uh, let's you know explore an item. So this item, I already created this item and I already have the, uh, have a trade agreement for this item, uh, this one. So the trade agreement for this item here is for, 122.34 uh i mean 122 dollars 34 cent right so according to this it falls under uh this this bracket right uh because it's 122 it falls under this range so which means that the system is it also is below four right because it ends with two two so which means the system is going to round it off to the nearest uh, 9.99 meaning it's going to go at the lower end right so let's see what happens so in order for that to happen automatically just edit the trade agreement and uh, there is a section called a smart rounding within the trade agreement so once you edit it there is an adjustment section here so let's see how the adjustment happens there's an adjustment section here and apply the smart rounding rule so when you apply the smart rounding rule, the system is going to make it to the nearest 9.99, which is in this case 9.119.99. So now we applied the rule and it's saved. It is now um, applied and the change, uh, the price is automatically changed to the following the rounding rule. So likewise here we have another trade agreement. Let's view it. So this is uh, 127, which means that it's going to again fall into the same bracket, but it's more than four. So it's going to be rounded off at the upper end, right? It's I think going to become 129.99, right? So let's make it, let's see whether it works. okay so that's the adjustment apply the smart rounding rule so now it become 29 one 129.99 and likewise the last one this one then you apply the smart rounding rule here it is following under the the last bracket so which means that it is above 50 so it's now going to be rounded to a whole number right so it's going to make uh, it's going to become uh, 10,000 instead of 10,060 it's going to become 10,100 because it's uh, greater than 50 so let's see whether it works as expected so 10,060 will now change to 10,100. So now you post it. So this is how you apply the smart rounding rules into your trade agreement lines, uh, which then will be a part of your sales process. 
again as i was mentioning earlier um in the est in the previous video uh we did uh, entered into the accounts receivable parameters under the pricing tab uh we did created a generic currency and added a exchange rate for generic currency so if you are having any different currency to work with in a trade agreement level then you will normally need to have this two setup available and then you can use the generic currency within the trade agreement for the conversion to happen automatically so once you have all this set up then uh, if you are also enabling this smart rounding rule here then the system will automatically do the rounding even for a sales order with a, with a different currency meaning if you are creating a sales order for the same item right now which is applied with a rounding rule uh, let's say i'm creating it for canadian dollars like how i did in the previous uh, episode then the system will automatically convert the inr to the canadian dollar and round it off the nearest whole number based on following our rule so that is something which is also offered uh, as a part of this feature if this is enabled so make sure this also gets this is also enabled if you have a gen generic currency so this is all i have for today guys this is regarding the uh, smart rounding rule which is available within your sales and marketing module under the uh, price and discounts smart rounding so thank you for watching this video guys see you again in another video with a different topic